Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we have, uh, I'm once again Shadow Fury 333, and we have now Google Frog versus Golda. And this is a well, same stream but new match. So another pair of matches that were played. First one's gonna be on Wanderlust, which I have shown off a little before, but it is probably a match to go over. So generally speaking, this map is actually fairly broad. You can pretty much play any factor in this map, though oftentimes you'll see Spider, Cloaky, Jump Bot, and occasionally Heavy Tanks, because Lodry sometimes plays in this map. And that is... They're all, they all kind of work. These ramps are all vehicle pathable. Except this one right here. This is a ramp, and that's only bot pathable. So it allows you to get up there pretty quick. Looks like Gold is actually set up to do exactly that. While typically players will start in the center to allow them to easily expand around... Sometimes they will start in the lower section. This is actually a very unusual start location. But it looks like Gould is trying to get the south quickly. While normally though, also the eastern player will easily go for the north and the southern for the south, sorry, the western player for the south area. The expansions, and then builds it from there. It's kind of a large part of it is who takes the center. Along with this choke point and occasionally this choke point. But anyway, this is, and no, 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 I actually have a cold. If you're wondering why my voice sounds really weird, I have a cold. I have had a cold since last week, actually last Wednesday. It's, they take a while to go away. It's almost through, but yeah, my voice is weird because I have a cold. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to the game. The Google Frog going for the Jump Bot Factory while Gulda is going to the South Expansion Area right away. We're really going to go for a proxy factory of some sort. Are they going to go for proxy spiders? Proxy gunship? Maybe proxy gunship. I don't know if it would... No, proxy spider. I was right the first time. They're going for... Interesting. Fleas over here. Yeah, I know. It's it's 30 degrees outside and I have a cold. Well, yeah. So, everything's terrible. I hate the heat. I don't really like cold as much either, but at least when you have a cold, you can wear a sweater. It's not like when it's hot, you can just rip off your skin. I mean, I suppose you could, but I don't think that would help. Not quite the same. Also, I don't have a fan on because of the noise, and I could probably get an air conditioner for this place. It's small enough, I'm sure. Once again, I'm concerned about noise, but if I put it in the right spot, it shouldn't interfere with the microphone. The microphone doesn't pick up anything from behind it, so as long as it's not too in front of the microphone, then it should be fine. As long as it's on the opposite side of me, or of the microphone from me, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Actually, by that logic, I probably should just pull up the fan I have now and blow it on me the entire time. You know, I'm going to try that, actually. Once I'm done this cast, not not right now, not this game or after this game, but like, when I'm done the whole stream. That was an interesting idea. I should have thought of that sooner. Anyway, as it is, Gulda is... Well, Pyro versus Flea. I don't bet on the Fleas in this case. However, the Fleas can get around pretty quickly. They can raid around, forcing Google Frog to build up some defenses that... I'm sure they wouldn't mind building up, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, fleas counter puppies. Oh yeah, that would be the case. That would be what it was. Not sure if they counter puppies, but they're certainly cheaper than puppies. So even if they get hit, that's 50 metal to kill something that costs 20. Yeah, as Sprung just pointed out, it's it's worth it every time. And Venom's most definitely counter pyros. It's actually the Cloaky versus Jumpy match. I was playing a game last week, or not last week, a couple days ago. And Cloaky versus Jumpy, that is... You can do some powerful things with Cloaky versus Jumpy just because of the Venoms. Because, as I mentioned in the last game, where Zeus counters Pyro, well, the main reason it counters Pyro is because it locks it down. Well, Venom gets all the lockdown with less cost. Like, all the lockdown with half the cost. The only downside is no real damage, or very little damage. But that's fine. And Golda going with, wow, calm Thrush. Golda being extremely aggressive this game. Google Frog already prepared for this with a moderator. I think about three hits to kill off that commander. So, not enough. That moderator, not fast enough, not reloading fast enough. Will it get another hit off? No, it does. Actually, it does. Just barely got another hit off. Golda's commander in a dangerous position right now. And another moderator coming in to finish that off. And should point out, Golda's economy is weaker than Google Frog. So, Golda losing that commander, that's nothing small. We aren't at the plus 25-ish range where losing a commander is an inconvenience rather than game-endingly crippling. Yeah, Venom, I don't see any red back, so pure Venom at this point. They just want to lock down all of the units. Rather than using red backs to lock down and then tear them apart afterwards. But Gorda's commander, 
does have auto repair, which is exactly what a recon commander needs. That or a lot of HP. Like armor plates or auto repair, one of the two. But here comes in another moderator to get a nice pot shot off. Which, that's all, is that all they'll get? No, it actually gets away, that's gonna be handy. Right now though, Golda does basically know exactly what's going on. They pretty much have, not quite a map pack on Google Frog, but almost. It's, it's very powerful. And that moderator is, hit the Lotus, not the commander. So at this point, the mo actually the Lotus will go down in another shot, the moderator will take it out right now. There we go. And Google Frog still really looks like they're kind of pinned in. They aren't. These fleas are, they're fleas. Mainly it'll give Golda an idea of where Google Frog is expanding to when Google Frog expands, other than here. But Google Frog's not expanding yet. They're actually really focused on pushing this back. I think they're gonna try to simply counter rush, or at least try to get rid of Golda's commander, figuring that getting rid of Golda's commander would tear apart everything Golda has, which at this point is not really true. I mean, okay, it's a major assault force, pretty much the only assault force they have. It's essentially their redback. Uh, they're going Venom Commander because they're not, they don't want to build redbacks. They just use the, have the commander have the redback weapon and that works. Moderators are being a bit of a thorn in Golda's side though. I mean, fleas will work fairly well. I'm a bit surprised they haven't been deployed further forward. I think eight of them already right here. This could pretty easily get rid of the moderators. I guess they're worried about the flea, about the lotuses. That would make sense to worry about. Now, Google Frog, on the other hand, they haven't moved north yet at all. They have stayed inside their main base. I'm a bit surprised they haven't expanded down here either. I mean, Gorda would be aware of it, but still, that's money. Google Frog is getting extremely afraid to expand. I mean, the fleas, I guess they expect the fleas would go around and tear everything apart. Just want to have the moderators finish everything off. But at this point, there's 19 fleas. These moderators are dead if the fleas attack. And there's no easy way to raid either. And that just goes for Jumpbot Factory in general. The puppies are an okay way to raid. Pyros are an okay way to raid. Away to, way to raid. But neither of them are great. The puppies can only raid once, and the pyros are kind of slow. So right now, in the moderators, I believe, outrange lotuses. They have a range of 420 compared to... No, actually, they have less range. Okay. And another pyro just gets locked down. Pi... Oh, is that I'm going to burn to death? I think it might, actually. Yeah, it looks like it might just burn to death. I'll have to check up on that later. Second power coming in there, which would mean that's kind of a moot point. And nope, doesn't burn to death. The flea does, but the venom manages to survive, and that is quite good for the venom. And another pyro coming in here. That venom will die. If it gets into another fight, that venom will die. But at this point, Goofrog really doesn't have a whole lot to push out on. I'm just surprised they haven't expanded. They're apparently afraid of these... Okay, now they're expanding. I'm thinking they're apparently afraid of these fleas, and... Well, it's not totally unjustified, but still. Now Google Frog's getting their money situation rectified, but Golda has half the map. Golda is in a huge advantageous position right now. Hugely advantageous. I don't see any easy way to get out of this. I mean... The Hermit's being switched for, that's... That really weakens the Moderator's abilities. Because the Moderator's, you know, that's kind of for the Commander and the Venoms. But those Hermits, they'll just tank it. They don't care. Actually, Fleas also, like, the Fleas will either distract the Moderators or the Venoms will tank, or sorry, the Hermits will tank it. And at this point, Google Frog trying to build up, but they're not building up that quickly. Their economy is half that of Gulda's, their army value is half that of Gulda's. Their army is almost entirely moderators, too. Two powers and five moderators. And going for a firewalk, they just want to burn this area out. Actually, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. That might work. Gold is getting a little bit overconfident about where these wind generators are placed. That could be devastating. Nice, nicely placed firework shot could do the trick, but even then, most of the stuff that Golda has will tank it. And I think Golda will know if it's coming. Oh, never mind. But we won't because Google Frog decided to push that back. Really? Hmm, apparently so. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Looks like that got pushed back. Oh, whoops, I don't want to have. There we go. So, right now, Google Frog not looking so hot. 
Not sure what the point of the... I mean, the Gauss... Okay, I guess... You no, know, deals damage. Hard to kill. It's just got a bit of slow reload time. And that's what I mean. The Hermits can just tank everything. They don't even care. I mean, the game I played, I actually didn't even go for Hermits. Or sorry, I went for... Sorry, I did go. Yeah, Hermit Recluse. I pretty much did this. And I also had Venom Redback as support, but pure Venom, that can work too. Especially with Goldus Commander in the back, that's not really a concern anymore. And now the Firewalker comes up. At least it's part of the way done. Wait, what's the range of this thing? Oh, that is a long range. Okay, that kind of explains why Gauss. What's the range? 500 something? 560! Okay, yeah, well, ex it well exceeds the range of Lotuses. So I can see the justification for that, but even then, I mean, Gorda coming in for what looks like might be the kill. Nothing is really going to defend against this. These forces will go through with probably no losses, maybe one or two. Even with the moderators and pyros, that's going to be tough to deal with. Firewalker just about finished. I'm sure Google Fog wants to tear this area apart with the Firewalker. But they might have to use it on defense. But it looks like, no, they are not going to... Are they? Yeah, they're going to use it on defense. Like I said, they kind of have to. Their hand being forced to reveal their Firewalker early on, much earlier than I'm sure they'd like to. Because I don't know if they know about the wind generators, but I'm pretty sure they know where Gulda is. Actually, I'm going to check their... Oh, that's Google Frog's vision. Yeah, Google Frog knows pretty much where Gulda is. Yeah, they know exactly where Gulda is. They know what they want to do. They wanted to use this Firewalker to tear apart that base. And screw it, they're going to use the Firewalker to tear apart that base. They don't need... They don't need to worry about defenses. They don't need those metal extractors. I mean, they do, but they don't worry about that. They're going to get rid of Gulda's. Actually, it's not entirely false. They don't need the metal extractors if they can get rid of these ones. Although, admittedly, oh, well, the wind generators would be kind of nice to get rid of. The Firewalker doesn't have that long of range. It can't easily get in. And Firewalker, oh, has no position to get in. Can burn these area, burn these units up, but that's about it. No, Flores, I don't think a windmill barbecue is going to happen. I'd love to have a windmill barbecue. But I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think that the Windmill Barbecue has been postponed due to weather. It's just, you know, 60% chance of artillery rain. It's just... I don't think that risk is particularly worth worrying about. I don't think it's worth having the barbecue anymore. Just got to cancel. I'm sorry. We'll pencil it in for next week. For rain check. But that artillery rain actually goes both ways with Google Frog being able to at least pressure these hermits away from the front lines. Not enough to give the Firewalker the room it needs. Okay, that Gauss is a great choice. <laughs> that Gauss is an awesome choice. That's working out extremely well. Distracting the crab, and despite the fact that the crab is getting... What is his range right now? Yeah, that range is increasing too, because crab has a cylind oh, not cylindrical... I think it's spherical range? I don't know, or parabolic range. Whatever it is, that's the artillery range that goes up as it goes up on ground. The terraforming is working out nicely. Unfortunately, the Gauss turret about to go down, and this is the moment of truth, which Google Frog's, Google Frog's commander goes down, and I think with that, that's going to be game. The Firewalker can only do so much. The Pyro's going to do so much. The Hermits have been damaged, and the Firewalker actually doing a fair amount in terms of crowd control, burning up the Hermits, but not killing any of them. That's kind of the problem. Death is somewhat necessary. Although, if this survives, if Google Frog survives this, they're going to have enough reclaim for the rest of the game. If they survive. And a scuttle right now. Come to slow down. Nice use of scuttle. Perfect scuttle timing, but even then, I don't know if it'll be enough. The pressure is extremely hard here. This is this is to the point where the Firewalker, if it could even attack, which it can't. The Venoms have come in and turned me apart, stunning everything and stopping any counterattack, unfortunately. But even if it did, Google will probably be burning up their own base to get out of this. So this is kind of game. This is game. I think the biggest thing was the fact that Golden managed to get their economy up so quickly. I think it was just the biggest problem. That was a really big deal. And now the game's decided to freeze for some reason. I have no idea why this is happening. This is very bizarre. Ah!
Sorry about that. Everyone watching a hitbox, I apologize. It probably went and locked up. I don't know why a computer locked up like that. That was very bizarre. But yes, the economy. That was what I would say. Gota got a nice economic start. Google Fog didn't really expand that quickly. It looked like they were... What were they trying to do? They weren't really going for a heavy assault force. They just... Or a quick rush or anything. I guess they got pressured and didn't expand. They got worried about the fleas. Anyway, that is that. There's another game between the two of them that's going to be up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. It will be on... Okay, seriously, what the hell's going on with my computer? This is beyond annoying now. Alright, so anyway, sorry about that. So yeah, the next match will be between Gorda and Google Frog again, and this time it'll be... Okay, it is totally crumb. It'll be on Desert Plateaus. So, that'll be up in just a moment. Sorry about that lockup. I don't know why that lockup was happening. My apologies. I'll restart Chrome. That usually fixes the problem. Anyway, stay tuned. That'll be up in just a moment.